Hey, my name's Chase and this is Lindsay. We're travel nurses living full time in our RV. It's a 30 foot sunset trail by Crossroads. We absolutely love it, but we have no closet space. Absolutely no closet space. So today we're gonna build some shelves. Hopefully it's gonna double our closet space. We'll document it along the way. Here we go. So these are our closets here. We have these two and then these upper compartments. We also have storage under the bed. However, lifting the bed up all the time to get clothes out is a little bit frustrating. So typically on a day-to-day -day basis, we just use our two closets. So here they are. Okay, so here's the closets. Uh, initially, we did not want to use clothes hangers to hang up all our clothes because we knew it was so limited to be way too small of a space. So we got these little hanging cubies from Walmart. Um, it'd be perfect for like a weekend trip. But what we've come out to find is that we just have way too much clothes to put in these little cubies. So they end up way too tightly sandwiched. Um, we're going to try to make these shelves. That's going to take place of the hanging cubie, but it's going to go the whole length of this shelf. Okay, so this is the closet without the hanging cubies. Um, we went and took it out to show how much space is behind it. There's pretty much double the space. All that space was wasted with hanging cubies. So the shelves we put in are going to make use of all of this space. Let's head outside and get started. Okay, so here's some of the materials. Um, obviously just a little jigsaw. We have five millimeter thickness uh, underlayment. It's a four foot by eight foot sheet at Home Depot. Um, the closets in there are 14 inches wide, so we had them cut these to 13 and three quarter of an inch wide. Um, literally, they have it cut in like two minutes, so it saves us tons of time. Obviously, tape measure, just a marker or pencil. Um, this is going to be what we're going to use to fasten the uh, support posts rather than screws and nails because camper walls are way too thin for screws and nails. I don't want to damage anything, so this is just really heavy duty double sided tape. Alright, so these are going to be our little support posts for the shelves. Um, they are just one by two fairing strips from Home Depot. Super cheap. We bought, uh, I think, six. Yeah, we bought six of them. Side of tape on the uh, sides of them to secure them to the wall. Right, so it's time to get some measurements. Um, we're gonna have our bottom shelf about eight inches. So we're going to cut four support posts at eight inches. Okay, so now we are getting ready to cut our bottom support posts. Unfortunately, we have to do it level by level just to make sure everything is going to fit okay. <laughs> side of tape and we are going to put it on the side of our support posts. Okay, now I'm just going to take this simple post. I'm going to swing it on in here, make sure it's touching the ground and I'm going to just stick it to the wall. And we're good on the first post. Okay, now all four posts are stuck in. Um, we are now going to measure the length of the closet. We already have the width cut out from Home Depot, so now all we have to do is go outside and cut the length. We're going to do about 29 inches, but obviously it's going to be specific to your camper. So now we're just marking down the length of our shelf. We'll cut our first level here soon. All right, let's see if it works. 
perfect fit. Okay, the first nice. shelf is in. Now for the second one, we're gonna repeat the same exact steps for this one. Um, we're gonna use the same eight inch post again for this next shelf. The only thing we're changing is going to be the length of the shelf. It's coming along beautifully. Two shelves down, two to go. We're gonna keep repeating the steps and just adjusting by length. Well, we hit a rain delay. Whoopsie. Well, <laughs> we like this beer. We hit a rain delay. We hit a rain delay. We hit a rain delay. How many times can you say we hit a rain delay? We hit a rain delay. So here we are taking a break. Rain delay. All right, so we have our three out of the four shelves. These are all the same height, just different depths. This top one's gonna to be a little bit different because we have our rod going across. So I'm gonna make it a seven inch, inch height and it's gonna sit right above this rod. We are all finished. All four shelves are done and in. So far it seems super successful. Now we just have to load them on up. So this was completely filled when we started. Now we have shelves and I moved the clothes that was in this over to the closet and just take a look at how much more space I have. All right, we're all done. And it's literally starting to rain right now. <laughs> we made it just in time. Um, we've literally doubled, maybe even tripled the storage we already had. We just have one regret after all of this. We should have done this a long time ago. I hope you find our video useful. I hope you can use it to help improve your RV life. Thanks right. for watching. Good luck. <laughs>